Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. I've read it here, here in Psalms 1 and 2. 41, 1 and 2. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. We'd like to welcome you to the Greenwood Missionary Baptist Church Services for uh, March 21st, 2021. Uh, we are excited about the opportunity to share the word of God with you. We pray that your week has went well, uh, that the Lord has shown himself mighty in your life, and that you've also contributed uh, to be a, a, a soldier for the Lord and share the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ with someone. And they may come running and saying, what must they do to be saved? Uh, it is our prayer that again that uh, you uh, come this morning excited about the fact that you can shout, you can pray, you can lift up holy hands, uh, and that you can give God all the glory and honor that is due unto him for his mighty works that he's continuing to perform in and through our lives. Again, we'd like to say welcome. Today we are also uh, celebrating the uh, annual day of our uh, Voices of Worship, which is our church choir. Uh, it would be basically the 61st, 61st anniversary. Uh, and so we just want to sh give them a, a, a few words of encouragement and let them know that we are appreciative of how God has used you in the past and how God is preserving you uh, for future use. That as we get prepared to uh, open back up and, and to share with the people what God has placed in our hearts, uh, that you all will be rejuvenated, re-energized, and ready uh, to just share your gift that God has placed within you. Uh, again, we want to say congratulations uh, for just being patient and, and, and enduring throughout this year. Uh, and that when the Lord says so, uh, we'll come back forth and, and, and share with the world uh, the gift again that he has shared with you all. So again, uh, join me in saying congratulations and thank you uh, to our of voices and worship. Uh, next Sunday is Palm Sunday, um, and, and we won't have an actual service uh, here in the church, but we will have uh, our own line of services as usual. Uh, and then the following Sunday is Easter Sunday. Uh, it is our prayer that we'll be able to open up uh, on Easter Sunday uh, to be able to share with those who are able to come uh, we will continue to practice our social distancing. We will be doing temperature checks. Uh, we'll be asking that all who are not feeling well uh, to please stay at home. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we just want to be able to share with, uh, with the Lord that we are appreciative of all that he's doing. We will have an online service uh, as well, uh, available to those who are just not comfortable still coming out. Uh, but those who are, we just pray that you would come forth and be able to express just how much you love the Lord and how much you want to share with him uh, uh, the grace, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, excitement about the grace that he's been sharing with us uh, over this past year. Amen. So again, we are grateful and thankful. Uh, this morning's sermon uh, will be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 1 through 6. Uh, after the, uh, our praise and worship team comes, uh, we'll come back. Uh, let's give our praise and worship team a hand as they come this morning.
goodness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and all that he has done for us. Makes us sometimes just shout out, nobody greater than you. I don't know about you, Sister Kevin, but I've I searched our Lord. I couldn't find nobody. Nobody, nobody greater than him. Who could wake me up every morning? Who could see me go through all of the stuff that I go through throughout the course of the day and still calm me down that I can have a peaceful night's rest? Who could see that all of my enemies come up against me, but yet still, he showed me just how great he is just because of the way he loves and keeps us. I'm grateful to God and thankful. I'm grateful to God and thankful. I'm grateful to God and thankful. And hopeful to all that he is going to do in and through, not only my life, but you all's lives as well. Again, we thank our praise and worship team. Giving our honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is first and foremost in our life. To God the Father, to the Holy Spirit, whom he has left as a comforter. To our deacons on this morning, to our, our very beautiful First Lady, Sister Carol, to our mothers, to our deaconesses, to our praise and worship team, our urshers, our choir. Uh, again, to our choir, congratulations, amen. Uh, to our members and visitors as well as friends. It is good for us to be here uh, on this morning. Our scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, started at verse 1. And it reads, Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, how that in, great, in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounding unto the riches of their liberality. Yeah. For to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves, praying us with much entreaty that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministering to the saints. Yeah. And this they did not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord. And to us by the will of God, in so much that we desire Titus, that as he had begun, so we would also finish in you the same grace also. Yeah, yeah. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come this morning. Lord, we are grateful. Thankful, grateful, thankful, grateful, thankful. For Lord, you are so good to us. Lord, you watched over us all last night as we slept in slumber. Lord, you touched us this morning with a finger of love. And Lord, you allowed us to go about our day to at this present point in time, Master. We're just grateful and want to say thank you. Lord, we pray now in the name of Jesus, Father, that as we prepare to share your word on today, that Lord, that you will move me out of the way. That Lord, that none of me and all of you will come forward. That, Lord, that the hearts and the minds and the ears that will receive your word on today, Father, will receive it, Master, in the manner in which you are allowed it to go forth, Lord, through me. And, Lord, I pray now, Father, that they will remove any strife, strain, or stress from their own hearts. That, Lord, that as you remove those things out of the way, Master, they'll be able to receive your word with clarity and peace. That, Lord, that as, Lord, you are sharing this word with us on today, Master, that, Lord, it will go forth and bring back, bring forth much fruit in our lives. Lord, we pray now and ask for forgiveness, Master, for any sins, Lord, that we have conducted, that, Lord, that we have done, Father, that, uh, Lord, have been unpleasing to you. And, and we pray now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we may be found blameless before you, Master, that, Lord, as you are sharing with us, Master, this word on today, that, Lord, that it will bring forth light and much power in our lives. That, Lord, that we may go forth, Lord, and share that there is a reality serving that you would live in God. Lord, we are grateful and thankful. We thank you in advance. It's in Jesus Christ's holy and righteous name we pray and give you thank you. Let every heart say amen, amen. and amen again. For 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 1 through 5, I will not read uh, the scriptures again. However, I'd like to use for a text this morning, 
given in hard times with the subtext of helping others while you yourself are strapped. Uh, this last week, uh, I shared with you all a, uh, uh, a challenge uh -huh. called the, uh, uh, the, 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 the stimulus challenge or stimulate hope challenge. Uh -huh. Uh, and, and in the midst of that, hey amen, we were asking you all to, to come forth and uh, to share that we may be able to share with other entities within the city. Uh, uh, we put that out and there have been some responses from a lot of people thus far. And we are grateful to those who have responded uh, so far and we are looking forward to those who are yet to respond. Uh, and, 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 and the Lord placed it on my heart and I did exactly what he told me to do, so there it is. Amen. Uh, as, I, as I look back, amen, uh, one of my favorite commercials right now is this Hershey commercial. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's two little girls, and, and they're sitting uh, uh, there across from each other, and, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, 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 and, and, and the commentator, uh, who would probably be their parent, I guess, uh, is asking them that if you, if, if this, this, uh, give a person a piece of Hershey. Uh, uh, and, and so I saw all of them, the two little girls, every time that uh, he would say one thing, they would both hand out uh, a, a piece of the Hershey. Uh, however, uh, Sister Carol, as they got to the last one, uh, it, it said that if you like to share, give uh, a, a piece of Hershey or share this Hershey uh, with your friend. And only one girl at that point uh, gave over uh, a piece of her Hershey. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I perhaps Amen. We are kind of like the other girl. Amen. That when we hear giving in the church, uh, our ears turn off. Yeah. Uh, uh, we start rolling our eyes and, and our bodies start scattering, kind of like roaches when the light yeah. come on. Yeah. Uh, reactions that really should not be, amen, but in some instances is the norm in the church. Yeah. How, how is it that those who have been greatly uh, influenced, greatly benefiting from God's grace and mercy, are sometimes the least likely to want to step up yeah. to the plate. Now, now, before I go any further, amen, I don't want to turn nobody off, so don't y'all turn off the screen right now. Amen, I want to remind us that not all giving is affiliated with finances, amen? Amen, it ain't always about how much money you give it, amen? But all of our giving is designed to bring relief and to enhance the position of those who might not have just as much as you do. Yeah, yeah. The members at the Church of Macedonia were impoverished. That means they didn't have a whole lot, y'all. They, they was poor. They was broke. They, 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 they was busted. They, they ain't had nothing. Amen. Uh, and, and times were hard for many, yet this did not prevent them from being inspiring in their giving so that they would continue, uh, that there would continue to be meat uh, in, in God's house, more specifically yeah. in the coffers uh, 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 to help those who are in Jerusalem. Right. Their actions, if appreciated as a representation of what knowing God pulls out of us, provides us with a gift on gifting. Uh -huh. That should motivate us to not focus on what we have, but more so on who is the giver of all gifts. All right, so, 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 so what can we gain from the text, Mr. Kevin? What, what, what can we gain from the text today? First and foremost, it shares with us that our attitude in giving is not inherited, but learned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 our attitude in giving is not inherited, but learned. And in other words, hey, hey, man, we were born in the sin, shaping in iniquity. So, so what happens is that there's this likelihood that, that giving is not a whole big thing that comes forth from a natural standpoint. And so somebody has to teach us, somebody has to show us, somebody has to lead us in the idea of what giving is all about. In our text, Paul identifies the special uh, nature of their giving, the church in Macedonia, and that there was a great trial of affliction. They was, I told you before, they were going through some stuff, amen, that there was great things coming against the churches. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the church uh, in Jerusalem was facing a very especially troubling time. Uh, they were dealing with a lot of trial and tribulation. They were dealing with uh, oppression from those who were outside, who were coming up against them. Uh, and, and so the need for support from outside sources was very much needed and advocated for with some provided some relief, but the Christians in Macedonia had responded in the very most unique 
ways, Sister Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they were excited about the freedoms that had been afforded to them uh, uh, by being the recipients of the grace that, that, that was instituted by their acceptance of, of the good news. Yeah, yeah. Paul and those that went forth and they shared with them that there, that there's this, this joy that should be associated with you come into a knowledge of who Jesus Christ is and when you serve him in spirit and in truth. Uh -huh. uh, this excitement is now being shown by the way that they gave even in their deep poverty. And, I, and, and I, that word deep means that means they were po po, amen.
And sometimes I'll even let some stuff rot to keep from giving it all right, all right, yeah. to somebody else. Yeah. Stinginess is not a reflection uh, 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 of a redeemed state. It's associated with being uh, uh, exposed to the redemptive power of God. When, 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 I, when I know what God has done for me, uh -huh. I ought to want to be able to do that, hallelujah, yeah. for somebody else. Church, 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 church. The, the individuals I'm talking about in the text, they were not stingy. That word stingy means unwilling to give, like to spend, ungenerous, amen. Uh, they gave intentionally. In other words, they had a mindset that we're going to give, amen, because God has gave so much to me, amen. Perhaps the teachers of Paul and others had been put in practice with results. we got to be willing to teach, hallelujah, and be taught. She said sometimes we'll share what giving about, but we ain't been taught on giving ourselves. So, so, so we don't necessarily always practice what we preach, amen? Amen. But we got to be willing to teach and be taught on the truth behind giving if we are to be empty of the broke Christian tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't no sense for a bunch of Christians to be talking about they broke. That's right, that's right. Mm. I, 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 I hope I'm messing with somebody, amen? Amen, 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 amen. Yeah. 
also be associated with our time, yeah. our talents, yeah. our testimony, yeah. Yeah. and oh yes, our treasures. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 If you get a new car every year, the church is going to do grand. I'd mess some folks up right there. Amen. They don't need that. Amen. What they going to do? Just let it sit there? No, 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 no. You just let yours sit. Well. But if you got your, amen. All of it should be a privilege. That's right. See, all of our giving should be a privilege, which leads to point number two. Uh -huh. When we consider how God gave in our lack. Most of us, most of y'all born into uh, uh, prosperity. We got born into prosperity. Amen. 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 Uh, when, we, uh, when we consider how God gave in our lack, we ought to be begging to participate in helping someone else. Look what verse 3 said. But to their power, I bear record, yet, and beyond their power, they were willing of themselves, praying as with much entreaty. He said they was begging us, begging us, amen, that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministry to the second. They said, we want you to have this and please take it. So that we will be able to help those who are in Jerusalem doing God's work. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Many of the folks at Greenwood have roots in places like Arkansas and Mississippi and Louisiana and some other southern states with ancestors who fought and scraped by to make it. Yeah, yeah. Ah, many women to share what they had with others to help them get by. I, I remember a time when mom, uh, grandma would say, go down to convert your house and grab some butter uh -huh. and take her a little bit of this. Because I gotta make some of this. And what happened when I get to the house and come back to the house, come back to the never say, oh, Bobby, I have butter again. She didn't say, oh, she, she said, here's the butter. And I say, she sent this with me to give it to you. I'm just talking about there was a time when folks wasn't mindful. I didn't mind if you didn't have the sugar for the Kool Aid. But if you had a cup of extra packing, you dropped the packing off. They bring you the sugar over. Both of y'all got Kool Aid. Both of y'all got bread. Both of y'all. Now we so we 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 so stingy, amen. Hey, amen. We 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 so so we so so sophisticated now, amen. That we don't want to share nothing with nobody, amen. Matter of fact, we get stuff free and won't share. Mm. Ah, and sometimes that the mindset was, you know what? We're gonna all get through this together because at one point it's gonna be a better day. Yeah, yeah. Better day. Paul continues. Uh, in the text of the to bear witness to the special nature of the generosity shown by the church in Macedonia. He points to three things, three aspects of their giving. First of all, they gave according to their ability. That's right. Here's what happened. Paul knew what they could give. Uh -huh. so, so, so what happens is that there is within us uh, 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 this, 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 this mindset or this common knowledge of what people are capable of giving. That's right. So, so, so that's why we don't just jump up and down when folks don't give what we thought they should have given because we understand they're giving based upon what they're capable of giving. Uh -huh. Amen? So, 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 so perhaps this is not to the fact that others knew that they were supposed uh, to be able to give. If other people look at it and say, the church in Macedonia is supposed to be able to send two nickels. Yeah. Church over at, at, at Greenwood is supposed to be able to send five. The church over at such and such is supposed to be able to spend six, and somebody else is supposed to be able to spend ten. Now, I know this based on the fact that I know that they got more members than the others. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. So, so, so as a result of that, amen, there was this mindset that they perhaps knew exactly what the Macedonian church was supposed to be. Amen. However, if they've been taught, or if we've been taught, we know that what is reasonably expected of us, at a minimum, we should do that. All right, okay, all right. Uh, uh, over in Romans, amen, uh, 12 and 1, he said something like this. This is what Paul, uh, Paul said to the Roman church. He said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies, give yourself as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is what? Your reasonable service. He said, at the least you can do is give yourself as a living sacrifice, you might not be able to do In other words, you might not have a dime, but you got a body. And since you got a body and the church needs sweeping, you can come at least sweep. Says, somebody, come on, come to me. Amen. Amen. He says that there is a reasonable expectation of what you should be able to do. And that's what they did. They, they, they had a reasonable expectation. Secondly, what we find, though, is not only were they operating in the reasonable expectation, but they were also given beyond their ability. In other 
you are capable of giving way more than what you gave. They gave beyond their ability, not pointing them, giving more than what was expected or reasonable, considering their circumstances. They knew everybody was going through Corona. Uh -huh. they, they knew everybody was dealing with that, amen. They, they knew. They knew everybody was dealing with it with some hard times, amen. But 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 if I can take my uh, uh, money, amen, and buy uh, alcohol, well, well, uh, if I can take my money, amen, and get my hair done. If I can take my money, amen, and I get the nails beat, yeah. Yeah. and I ain't stopped out of church and gave God nothing, that ain't reasonable. Right. 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 <laughs> and it ain't right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, so in Luke chapter 21, we go to 1 and 4, it says, And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasure. So the rich men were giving their stuff, amen, because they want folks to see them giving. Yeah. Ah, he said, but verse 2, he said, he saw also a certain poor widow casting in Becca two mites. Yeah, yeah. So, so this poor widow comes to give her offering also, and she cast in two mites. Uh -huh. Verse 4 says, though, uh oh, for all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offering of God. Yeah. But she of her pantry, in other words, she didn't have no more. Yeah. She gave her very last, yeah, yeah. but it was her very best. What happened when your very last is your very best? What would God have do with it? Ah, uh, in similar fashion to the woman here in Luke, the third highlight of the Macedonia church's giving was that it was voluntary. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, go, let me help you. Let me help you there. Yeah. Hey, hey. Pastor didn't have to put out a stimulus challenge. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nobody had to come and say, we're going to do this. Can you do that? No, no, no. None of that. It was voluntary, meaning that they were not petitioned by Paul or nobody else to give. In other words, they looked and they saw the need. Yeah. They said, you know what? We will sacrifice just a little bit yeah. to make sure that somebody else got a little bit more than what I already got. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's an eternal appreciation for God's generosity in saving them uh -huh. when they were destined to sin and headed to hell. Man, when you think about how God rescued you, yes, David said, David said, David said, David was laughing at David when David come talking about why y'all scared of this uh, 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 Goliath and all this stuff that he shouted out. David said that a lion and a bear came and took up the sheep. He said that I grabbed him, I smote him by the beard, and I grabbed the sheep out. And I'm just trying to tell you that the devil had many of us down his throat, and God's right still snatched us out and pulled us out, and you can't get no more. Ah, ah, maybe, 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 maybe it's just a care uh, uh, considering the number of illnesses that uh, they could have caught, but they didn't. Maybe, 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 maybe they was thinking about the DUIs that they should have got, that they should have got, but was spared. Maybe they talk, thought about the lies that they told and got caught in, but was forgiven right in the midst of it. Uh, maybe the ungodly ways that, that, that they treated others while proclaiming to be a child of God. Maybe that was the stuff that was on their mind when they was given. They said, God, and rescue me out of all this stuff. I can't help but give. Man, we should be knocking the church doors down. Want to give him our time and our talent and our testimony and our, tra our treasure to let him know just how much we appreciate. Lord, I thank you. But I, I just, I just drove by to drop this off because I thank you. Amen. But I, 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 I don't need it. Amen. I don't need that six pack. I, I don't need that fit. Amen. Amen. I don't need that hit. I don't need my hair done this week. But I'm just gonna drop that off and look. I ain't gonna worry about where it go. I'm just gonna believe that if I drop it off for you, it's gonna be you. So that somebody will know who Jesus Christ is. Lord, I'm just giving because you done gave so much to me. Ah, and in verse 4, Paul states that they were begging them. Begging them. So y'all come here and get this stuff. Come get it. Amen. Come, Pastor, come get my offer before I spend it. Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Because I, I want to spend it over here. Come get it. Amen. They were begging him for the favor and the fellowship of contributing to the relief and the support of the saints of Jerusalem. They said, we want to help them. So we got to give what we got to give. And, and it might cost us a little bit. But what we give it up, it'll be rewarded. If not now, later. This is Terry. I grew up 
You know, when I was a kid, they used to have a candy called now letters. Uh -huh. I, I couldn't I couldn't wait to later all of eat all my nouns now. Amen, amen. But then you have one or two people who learn how to say for a little bit later. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And God is a God of now and He's a God of later. Yeah. We just gotta learn how to be patient yeah. in the midst of it, Sister Carol. Yeah. That there's, there's something He's gonna bless us with right now, and there's something we just gonna have to wait on just a little while longer. Amen. But when they do season, He's gonna keep us in the midst of it. If we just keep our eyes, hallelujah, on Him as I come to a close. That the detectives in Macedonia, they allowed their love for the word, their word, their love for the word, uh -huh. and their passion for God's people. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we got a lack of passion That's right. yeah. for the people. Yes. Cause we too busy trying to figure out why they still where they at. Well, well, hmm. well, Hallelujah. Uh -huh. That led them into giving. Now this willing to go all out and give it appeared to be the least they could do, uh -huh. considering what God had given them, which leads to our last point, and I'm gonna get out of you all's hat, because uh -huh. y'all probably have turned me off already. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And that yeah. means completely giving of ourselves should be a blessing yes. Yes. and motivation yes. for others. Uh -huh. When we give of ourselves, it ought to be a blessing to us. Yes. But it ought to be a motivation also to other people. Yeah. So not only am I blessed, but other people are going to be blessed. But they're not only they're going to be blessed, they're going to be motivated yeah. to also go out and bless somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Paul confirms that the giving of treasure is not uh, the, the, the only aspect of their gift in verse 5. He said, and, and this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and unto us. By the will of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so verse 5 is revealed that not only was there a contribution to be sent, but first they gave of themselves to the Lord. All right. So, 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 in order for me to truly be a true giver, I gotta first of all give myself to God. Because when I give myself to God, then I realize I'm just a vessel that He uses to be able to perform the work that He needs to be so able to perform. Which then helps me to actually clearly understand that whatever he gives me as the vessel is not mine anyway. It's all his. And the vessel is only supposed to distribute the very thing that's inside the vessel so that when the vessel is empty, it can either be filled or tossed out. But here in the case of God, God ain't tossing out folks. If you do what you're supposed to do when he fills you with it empties, he'll put more in you. Ah, they allowed the word to be absorbed in their heart. Psalm 19, 119, 11. Thy word have I hid away in my heart so that I what? Might not sin against thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is so good. Amen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. They trusted. They trusted. They trusted. They trusted what had been taught. And they did not allow mm, what they had to give up uh -huh. to stop them from benefiting from being generous. Amen. Sometimes, amen, we are more worried about what I'm giving up That's right. than what I could possibly gain. Amen. Yeah. That's why I was talking about the commercial. That little girl, she thinking, if I give up this, like, this last piece of chocolate, I might not get no more. Uh -huh. But don't realize, amen, that most times, amen, uh, 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 in that packet of uh, chocolates, amen, it's 12 squares. Uh -huh. And most good parents ain't gonna give you all 12 of them. Because they know you're going to sit there and eat them all. Right. So they hold back some. Uh -huh. A little bit now. <laughs> and a little bit later. Amen. Yeah. A -a amen. They, they trusted that what they had to give up, amen, was not going to stop them, amen, from benefiting uh, uh, long term. This was a notion that the young rich ruler did not grasp, y'all. Right. Luke 18, uh, he had a hard time with it. Bible said, 18, 18 and 25, uh, 18 and 18, says, And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what should I do to, eternal, uh, uh, to inherit eternal life? He comes to Jesus, he says, Jesus, Jesus, Good master, what, what, what I got to do to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, inherit eternal life? Amen? Amen. And Jesus said to him, Why calling me good? He said, are, are you really just saying that because you know I'm good? Are you trying to butter up to me right now? Because you know that I'm the one who is the master. Amen? But not only that, he, he comes back. He said, Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not stand a bad false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And he says, here's what the, uh, uh, the young ruler said. And I, I, all these I have kept from my youth up. He bragging now. He said, I know all that stuff. Uh -huh. all right, all right. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, 
Yet, that is that one thing. Mm. Yeah. He says, sell all that thou hast and distribute it yeah, to yeah, the poor. Yeah, yeah. What happens when God tells you, take everything, mm. sell it, yeah. and give it to the poor? Yeah. And don't worry about it. You know, I, I watch a lot of little home uh, 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 improvement shows and whatever. Uh, and the one last night, it was just interesting because what happened, this guy's grandfather, he was a preacher, left him a big old house. Uh -huh. Man said, I'm going to sell the house, uh -huh. and then I need to sell everything in it. So they auctioned all the stuff. He said, all I need is about $35,000 so that I can actually buy a truck so that the food pantry that we have will have a refrigerated truck so that we'll be able to He said, I ain't worried about all this stuff. So they did the auction, and when they ended up with them finishing the auction, they ended up with $61,000. Now, typically what would happen is in the midst of that, when, 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 the, when, the, when, when the show has a person who gets some money, the person or the company that did the appraisal gets a portion of it as well. Yeah, yeah. But the woman comes back, and she says, we are going to donate our proceeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just talking about that when you do what God tells you to do, not only will it benefit you, but it's going to benefit others, and it's going to motivate them also to help somebody. So they come back and say, we're going to give you this back, and you go back and do whatever you need to do with it. We ain't worried about it. We ain't taking no contribution. And you help to feed the hungry in, in New York. I'm just talking about when, when, we, when we understand this concept of giving, that, that, that it is better to give. That to receive. That, that, that which he thought, this, this is young Rich Ruler, that which he thought uh, supported him became his personal trap. So what happened when the thing you think is holding you up is the actual thing that's holding you down? Wow. Uh, when we are willing to give our all, uh, regardless of how foolish it might seem to the world, uh, it sets the stage for blessings to come forward. Amen. That defy reason and, and, and yields eternal fruit. It should stimulate others. And make them want, amen, to get to know the source of your generosity. Yeah, yeah. A -a amen. When he talk about Jesus, amen, a -a amen, and, and how God blessed them in the midst of that, it should uh, stimulate others to want to know, who is Jesus? Yes. And that give you opportunity to share Jesus with somebody, amen. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, uh, 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 it, it allows us, amen, to enlighten people, amen, of the great life, Jesus Christ, uh -huh. who came to save who? The whole world. Over 2,000 years ago, God would provide uh, the objective lesson, amen, on sacrificial giving. Uh, uh, and the result, uh, 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 and, 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 and the results uh, that it can bring uh, when we allow, amen, ourselves to be used by God to bring relief to the poor and needy in spirit. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes shall not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. God would give his only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, to the world. Jesus uh, would accept this assignment, and what he would do then is wrap himself in the flesh of man. Uh, he became uh, what we are, amen, but he wasn't who we are, amen. He became what we represent, but he wasn't who we are. Uh, uh, he had a simple wrapping around him, amen, but he never committed sin. Amen. He was born in a manger. He was raised as a corporate son. He was poised for advancement and called into his earthly ministry. Amen. He was identified and he recruited undesirables to do the desirable works of the Lord. He picked folks that nobody else thought were worthy to be sharing the word of God, but he used them. Amen. And they gave of themselves so that God could be uh, 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 understood and knew about. It. Amen. He taught them, leading them by example. Amen. Uh, 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 presenting uh, uh, the acceptable path to the Father. He was marched from judgment hall to judgment hall. He was accused, tried, and convicted. He carried his own cross and death from the cross. He even cried out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They took my Lord and Savior off the cross like he gave up to go. Buried him in a borrowed tomb. Stay there all day Friday. Stay there all day Saturday. And early Sunday morning, the Bible declared that he got up, and when he got up, he got up with all power in his hand, still giving. He ascended to heaven. Sit on the right hand of the Father, plead the intercession for our sin, and there he will be until he returns for his church. Even from the grave, he's still running stuff. And my old, old dad said, you ain't got no power over me. I am God. I, I'm in control. I, I'm not going to tell none of y'all how to count your money. Matter of fact, I ain't going to sit there kind of count it for you. Amen. You know what you get. Yeah, yeah. You know what you got. Yeah. You know what God has done for you. Yeah. That, that ain't my job to have to try to do that. Amen. Yeah. 
A amen. Amen. Here's what I, what, what, what I will tell you. Amen. Is that I know that God has blessed you with time. Yes. He's blessed you with some talents. Yes. He's blessed you with a testimony. Uh -huh. And he's blessed you with treasures. Yes. Amen. Use it reasonably uh -huh. so that God gets out of it what God desires from you. Yes. But as your pastor, but I, I, I gotta encourage you, amen, uh, uh, to make an honest assessment yes. of what you're doing with what you got. Yes, yes. Look at it. Am yes. I using my time correctly? Uh -huh. Did I waste a whole year yeah. with Corona? Yes, yes. Did I waste a whole year of just one-on-one -on -one personal study with the Lord? Uh -huh. Did I waste a whole year uh, 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 of interaction that I could have had with God? Did I do everything I could have done? Now, I don't want you to do that to, for the, with the mindset that now you're going to be feeling guilty and all that. Just say, Lord, I messed up. Forgive me. Now, give me opportunity now to move forward. Now, don't ask for opportunity to move forward if you, if you ain't want an opportunity to move forward. Amen. 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 Yes, yes. But, but we got to ask ourselves, am I giving him the best uh, of your time or do I give God what's left? Mm -hmm. and do, do I start out in the morning giving God 100%? Uh, 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 do I give God what I got left when I get off work yeah. and I got done with everybody else? And then right. now I'm coming. And then I said, Lord, let's have a little time together. God said, You ain't fresh. Yes. Right. Mm. Are, you are you using your talents to draw others? Or are you waiting for someone to give you permission to use them? Uh -huh. God has showed you what you can do. Right. If you tell the pastor, Well, Pastor, we could be doing this, then that means Lord telling you that that's what you should be doing in the ministry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, uh oh. Yeah. Oh, because our pastor going to move it away from pastor. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Are, are you sharing your authentic and exclusive testimony to share Jesus with family, friends, and others who you come in contact with? And lastly, have you given any or only what's expected or what you feel is enough? Uh -huh. Last Bible scripture. Adam and Eve had two sons. Uh -huh. One came, one Abel. Abel gives God his best. Cain gives God what he thought he wanted. And as a result of that, Cain is cursed. And he ends up killing his brother. Yeah. Then he's going to ask God this crazy question. Am I my brother Cain? The, que the fact that he asked the question knew he already knew he would. Yeah, yeah. We are our brother's keepers. Yeah. Amen. Brothers and sisters. Somebody come back to me, Pastor. They said, no, no we, are, we, are, we are people's keepers. Right. Amen. And we have an obligation to do that. Amen. Cain would uh, 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 don't don't let God have to coerce you, coerce you into giving, because uh -huh. He can. Amen. But the feeling ain't gonna be good. That's right. That's right. It ain't gonna feel good. Amen. Uh, our, our inactions can be contributed to not knowing. But when we've been exposed to the power, we know what God expects of us. You have no excuses anymore. That's right. That's right. Yeah. There are no more excuses. I can't say I didn't hear. It. I didn't know. I didn't. You know. Amen. Don't allow your eyes, what you see in front of you, uh -huh. my two dimes, my three nickels, amen, uh -huh. and think that it's not enough. Mm -hmm. And put a limit on your opportunity to bless other people. Uh -huh. Our blessings can come when we operate collectively together, all bringing our little bit, which makes it much, to put it in the hands of God who can make it great. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Here's what he told the disciples. He said, bring me two fish and five loaves. Yeah. He took it in his hand. Right. He blessed it. Then he distributed it to the disciples. And they fed 5,000 folks. Yes, Come on. Amen. You mean to tell me we can't help 500 people? Amen. So God is showing us that, that even in times like these, our little giving collectively and genuinely can bring relief to a whole lot of folks. That's right. So I just need you to hear me so that we can spread the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Acts 20, 35. I've shown you all the things by example. How that no laboring, uh, not how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak. Uh -huh. And to remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, how he said, it is more blessed. That word blessed means it brings greater joy to give than to receive. We extend the invitation on today. There may be someone who has heard this word. There's yeah. someone who's out there contemplating that, you know, if I, if I give what I need to, maybe I need to give the Lord myself again. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, I, I encourage you today. Come by Letter Christian Experience Candidate for Baptism. You may even want to do a rededication. But I encourage you on today to step out, reach out, say, Lord, I need to do better. Right. 
I, I know I need to do better, and I want better from you. Uh, Lord, take away anything from me that is not in the same realm of what you desire for me to be or to act like so that I may come into contact with those who will teach me to walk the way that you want me to walk. Lord, uh, will you come on today? Will there be one? We extend the invitation. Will you come on today? God is He's waiting for us. Amen. He's anticipating someone to step up and say, Lord, I need more of you. I, I want to be more like you. I, I want to do this. I want to do that. And, and, and all he said is just surrender today and, and move into a realm where you are able to hear and to be taught and to listen and to then go forth and do what you've heard and, and, and that God can use you so that others can come. And you say, man, why? How, how did you change like that? What, what was it in your life that turned things around? And all you can say is, I don't know when it happened. I didn't know that I accepted Jesus. And when I accepted Jesus, all this other stuff came along with me. Will you come on today? Will you come? Will you come? We see that there are none in the sanctuary. There may be someone at home. Uh, you can call us here at the church, 816-471-7358. Uh, we'd be glad to speak with you. Uh, uh, you can ask God right now. Just pray and say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Uh, come into my life and just allow uh, your spirit to teach me what I need to uh, do and teach me and lead me into a place that can continue to teach me so that I'll be what you desire for me to be so that others will see you through me. Amen. Amen. We're grateful and thankful for this opportunity to share the word with you all today. Uh, we pray that it has been enlightened, enlightening, uh, helpful, uh, and at the same time, we know that the word will not go forth and come back home. Yeah. So, so somebody got it. Amen. Uh, it, it, it's going to help somebody. Yeah. Amen. And, and if you just make yourself available to God, God will move the word through you so that it will bring forth the results that he desires for you to, uh, for he, what he desires for it to bring forth. Uh, again, we thank all of you all for joining us on today. Uh, be in prayer uh, uh, for our mothers, all of our mothers, Mother Hollishead, Mother Shears, uh, Mother Fontino, Mother, Mother uh, 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 McCray, uh, uh, as well as Mother Bill. Amen. Uh, and then all of our uh, senior saints, uh, Deacon Withers, uh, our Brother James Spencer, uh, as well as uh, Sister Gertha Williams, uh, and then just our church family as a whole. Amen. Uh, and then those who are part of our family circle, uh, God bless you all, Colorado, Texas, all over the place. Uh, we are grateful to God for all of you all uh, being a part of our family. And so with that, let us go into prayer. Father God, we come to you this afternoon. We thank you. Uh, we thank you, Father, for this opportunity, Lord, to share your word with your people. Uh, Lord, I gave what you told me. Uh, Lord, I, I put forth, Father, what you put in me. Uh, I pray now, Father, that as it goes forth, Master, that somebody's life will be impacted, somebody's life will change, somebody yes. will see that there is a need, Father, for uh, reconciliation, Father, perhaps with other individuals or more so with you. Uh, that, Lord, that they may position themselves, Father, to be uh, uh, used by you, to hear you clearly, uh, Lord, to respond, Father, openly, Father, that there's somebody out there, Father, who sees them, Master, and, Lord, they are the source, Father, of getting the good news to them, Lord. So we pray now in the name of Jesus that, Lord, as we've heard these words on today, Lord, that you will seal our hearts, Lord, that you will convict them, Master, and that, Lord, that we will come forth as, as pure gold, ready, Father, to do what you call us to. We pray for those, Lord, who are on our prayer list, asking, Lord, that you would meet each and every one of them, Lord, whether it be illness, whether it be uh, bereavement, Father, whether it be, Father, just uh, concern or doubt, Father, maybe they just are happy. And, and, Lord, we just pray now in the name of Jesus that you would address, Lord, their every need. Uh, let them know, Master, that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us, Lord. And we are grateful, Father, for just the privilege, Master, to be able to share your word, uh, to share, Father, your gifts with others, that, Lord, that they may see Jesus Christ Lord, in the true light of who he is. But we thank you. We thank you for so much, Master. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. And it's with this we close our prayer. Let every heart say amen, 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 and amen again. God bless each and every one of you all. Have a wonderful week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.